greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For today's meditation, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your whole spirit, soul and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Living a blameless life. Yes, we need to live a blameless life. And our God is going to come very soon. We are going to meet Him in glory. And at that time, we need to be blameless, spotless. And we need to have a holy life. And we cannot do it on our own, on ourselves. We need the strength of the Holy Spirit. We need the help and the support of Holy Spirit. And that is what the Holy Spirit of God does in our life. He does three beautiful things. Number one, He will always convict us of the mistakes that we do. And He will tell us that what we are doing is wrong. Number two, He will lead us according to the word of God. And He will help us walk according to the word of God. And not only that, number three, He helps us to take victory over sin. And He is the one who gives us the strength to overcome sin. Today, we need the anointing of the Holy Spirit in order to live a blameless life. This morning, I'm going to tell you five things in what all we need to be blameless. Number one, Luke chapter 1 verse 5 and 6. It says like this, Luke chapter 1 verse 5 and 6. There was in in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was of daughter, was the daughter of Aaron and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments, walking in all the commandments and ordinance of the Lord blameless. Here we read about Zachariah and Elizabeth. The word of the Lord says they were walking blamelessly. In every walk of their life, they lived a blameless life. Today, it is very much needed that we walk a blameless life. Yes, my friend, there are so many eyes watching us. And today we need to ask God and we need to pray and say, Lord, help us, strengthen us that we will walk a blameless life. This morning, the word of the Lord is blameless. Let us walk according to the word of the Lord. Zachariah and Elizabeth, they walk in all the commandments and ordinance of the Lord blamelessly. Yes, we need to walk according to the word of God. The world has a law. The word has a law. The worldly laws are different and the word's law is different. If someone loves the world, he is an enemy to God. Today, this morning, let us take a decision and say, Lord, help me to walk according to your word, not according to the standards of the world. The world has so many standards, but let me not walk according to the world, but let me walk according to the word, what you have given me. This morning, if we will walk perfectly, blamelessly, according to the word of God, yes, as Zachariah and Elizabeth were filled with the blessing of John, yes, we will also receive a fullness of blessing. They were, they did not have a child and they were, they were walking blamelessly before God. God never left them. God gave them John the Baptist. Yes, my friend, today God can bless us with a complete blessing in our life. Only if we are ready to walk according to the word of God blamelessly. Number two, Acts chapter 24 verse 16 says like this, This being so, I myself always strive to have a conscience without offense toward God and men. A blameless conscience. We need to have a blameless walk. Secondly, we need to have a blameless conscience. Yes, my friend, the conscience that is in us, it speaks, it tells us and we need to listen to it and we need to have a blameless conscience. If you will look into Job chapter 27 verse 6, it says like this, My righteousness I hold fast and I will not let it go. My heart shall not reproach me as long as I live. In other words, my heart will not blame me. My heart will not accuse me as long as I live. 
Job, he was very clear in his conscience. He was very clear and strong and blameless in his conscience. He says, my conscience will not blame me. My conscience will not accuse me. I've not done anything wrong. Though others spoke so many things others pointed out their fingers against job others had so many things accusations against job but still job said my conscience is strong i know what i've done i will hold fast to my righteousness i will not let it go i will i know my heart will not accuse me let us be strong and let us be blameless in our conscience that we will live a good and a perfect life before God and man. Number three, if you will read Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4, it says like this, Ephesians 1 4, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. I read it again. We should be holy. Listen to that verse. We should be holy and without blame before him, before God. In what? In love. The word of the Lord says, be holy, be blameless in love. Our love should be pure and blameless. God expects our love to be blameless, to be pure as the love of Jesus Christ. The love of Jesus Christ did not have any hidden agendas. The love of Jesus Christ was unconditional. The love of Jesus Christ was so perfect. Never had anything behind. It was a pure, pure love for mankind. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whomever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. No internal benefits but just life to mankind. Today my friend, how is our love? Is our love pure? Is our love holy? A blameless love. And when we have that, when we show that to the world, because the world has a corrupted love. The world love demands things. When the world loves us, there is something hidden behind. When the world loves us, yes. When somebody says something is free, it is not free. There is something hidden behind. If there is a, some, some concern about someone towards your life, they are not just concerned out of love. There is something behind they are benefited. God wants us to have the exact love, the agape love that Jesus had. That love has nothing in it but just pure love. Be blameless in your walk. Be blameless in your conscience. Be blameless in your love. And not only that, Philippians chapter 2 verse 14 through 16, it says like this, Do all things without complaining and disputing that you may become blameless and harmless children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom you shine as lights in the world holding fast the word of life so that I may rejoice in the day of Christ that I have not run in vain or labored in vain. Be blameless in your patience. Be patient. Among this crooked generation, be patient and let your patience be pure. Let your patience be blameless. And when we have that blameless patience, yes, we will be rewarded one day. My friend, today we need to have these qualities in us. We need to be blameless in our walk, in our conscience, in our love, in our patience. Finally, Daniel chapter 6 verse 21 and 22 says that Daniel said to the king, O king, live forever. My God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouth so that they have not hurt me because I was found innocent, blameless before him, before him, before God. And also, O king, I have done no wrong before you. Be blameless in your integrity, in your faithfulness. God expects us to be blameless. When we walk blameless life, 
Be blameless in your walk. Be blameless in your conscience. Be blameless in your love, in your patience, in your integrity. And then we will meet him in glory. We will have the boldness to meet him. And yes, he will take us home. Shall we pray? Gracious, loving, heavenly father. We thank you for this beautiful day. God, we pray that this word will work in everyone. That we will all together walk a blameless life. Strengthen us, O oh Master. Strengthen each and every one. If someone is not filled with the anointing of the Holy Spirit, Lord, fill them and strengthen them that they will overcome sin in their life. Give them a blessed day. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.